Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I fixed a problem with a three-way switch. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I fixed this problem. The problem is that I have a three-way switch here with one switch over here and the other one downstairs over here and these two switches work as a pair. I can turn the light on or off from here or I should be able to turn the light on or off from here. But here's my problem. The switch works fine from here, off, on, off, on and it works fine from here as well. But if I turn it off from here, the other one, the switch upstairs stops working. And now the light will not turn on or off. So when that switch is off, I'm not able to turn the light on or off from here. But when this is on, I can go back and turn the light on or off from here. That means there's a problem with the wiring of either this switch or that switch. I will have to find out. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I solve the problems. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. I will go and turn off the circuit breaker first. Circuit breaker is off. I will now remove the cover plates and the switches. One more check to ensure that the power is really off. I don't need to remove this switch, but because this is working fine, this is not a three-way switch. But I will still remove it to see the wires inside the box. No power anywhere, so it is safe to work on this. This switch here is a single pole switch. And this one is the three-way switch that I am going to work on. This is the first thing I have to check, that the switch is a three-way switch. As you can see, a single pole switch has only two brass screws on one side and nothing on the other side. But a three-way switch has one brass screw on one side and hopefully you can see it, one black screw and one brass screw on the other side. So it is confirmed that this is a three-way switch. In one of my jobs, I saw that someone had used a two-way switch instead of a three-way and the three-way function was not working. So this is the first thing we have to check, that the switch used in a three-way function is really a three-way switch. In this three-way switch, uh, on this black wire is either the line in or it is going to the load. We have to find out. And this black wire under this brass screw is a traveler wire. Same way on the other side, this red wire under this brass screw is a traveler wire. So I will go ahead and remove these three wires. These wires are backstabbed. I have enough length here, so I'll just cut them out. I'll strip off the wires again. This black wire is coming from the switch. That means it is a line wire. This wire is bringing in power. These two wires, the black and red wire, they are coming from, they are a part of the 14-3 wire inside. I can see that. So these, this wire here, this black wire here, and this red wire here. So these two wires are definitely traveler wires. And this wire is bringing in power. I will temporarily put Vago lever nut connectors here. I will test here again that there is no power in any of the wires. Here again I will make sure the switch is really a three-way switch. So we have one brass terminal on this side and one brass terminal here and a black terminal here. So this is a three-way switch. So this wire has just broken off from the brass terminal. I push it aside. 
in this particular decora style three way switch uh, the common the black screw on one side is either line or load this wire is either bringing in the power or this wire is going to the light and these two brass screws one on this side and the other on this side they are traveler wires so in this case the red wire is definitely a tra traveler wire and the two black wires one of them is line or load and the other one is a traveler which one of these two wires is line and which one is load that we have to find out. I'll keep the right side wires on the right side and the left side wire on the left side. So I'm going to step this wire again. Temporarily put Vago lever nut connectors for my tests. The next thing I have to figure out is that from these two wires which one is line and which one is load this one is a traveler wire for sure in this particular case i can clearly see that these two wires the red and black they are part of a 143 wire on this side and this is the white wire here this black wire is a part of 142 wire black and white these two whites are connected together so i can safely say that this black wire is a traveler wire this is of course a traveler wire and this wire is going to the load because the other wire downstairs is bringing in power so that makes my job easy i will now go ahead and connect the switch back this black wire is the load wire which goes on this black terminal one of these two traveler wires is connected to the brass screw so i'll use the black wire here and i'll just push it under this tab the red traveler wire connects to the other side. Another check to make sure they are connected properly. Verify the load wire is connected to the black screw. One of the travelers is connected to the brass screw and the other traveler red wire is connected to the brass screw on the other side. Top is written here. We will keep that on top and I'll make sure that on the other switch I will connect the red wire on the left side as well. Push the wires inside the box. I leave it here for now. Connect the other switch downstairs and then tighten these screws. Remove the Vago lever nut connectors. These are my two traveler wires and this is my line wire. The black line in is connected to this black screw. Push the wire under the tab and tighten the screw. By the way, I'm using a new three way switch here. As I connected both black wires on the right side, I'm doing the same thing with this switch as well. Push the wire under the tab. Just make sure that the sleeve doesn't go under the tab. And the red wire on the left side. This side is up and the red wire goes under this tab. I used a small pigtail to make the ground connection. The switch I just removed did not have the disconnection. This black tape ensures that the ground terminal does not touch either the line wire, the load wire or the traveler wires. Gently push all the wires inside the box and then tighten the screws. I will now go ahead and turn on the circuit breaker and check that the wiring is correct. The circuit breaker is on now. This is the switch I just replaced. can turn the light on or off from here and let me go and check upstairs. This also works fine. So let's say I turn the power off from here. The power should be on from here as well. On, off, on, off. So let me keep this off and try from upstairs. On, off, on, off. So this three-way switch combination works perfect now. Next, I will explain what was the problem. I'll go upstairs for that. This is my switch upstairs. The problem I figured out was that these two black wires, they were connected in place of each other. The load wire, which should have been on the black screw, was connected to the traveler wire. And the traveler wire was connected to the load screw. That's why the switch was not functioning properly. Just make sure it is straight. And the face plate. Off, on, off. Let me check upstairs. 
on off on off so i leave it off here and check from downstairs on off on off so this three way switch is now as it should work the only problem was that upstairs the two black wires were connected in each other's place the load wire was connected to the traveler terminal and the black traveler wire it was connected to the load terminal i just switched those two black wires and the problem was solved i hope this video was useful it was helpful if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if i made any mistakes during this project please let me know in the comments below if you like the content of this channel please subscribe there are several other diy videos on my channel i'll see you next time until then please take care